how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber i really appreciate you much for your love and your support may god bless you but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and here subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends the video that we all have been waiting for is today part three of Pamela's love story. I've seen your comments, guys, asking me, Bella, where is part three? Bella, we are waiting. <laughs> so today I am going to be starting from where we stopped last time. But before I begin, if it is your first time to watch this love story, please go back because we have got part one, part two and this is part three after watching part one part two and then come here watch part three you are going to understand better this love story and it is going to help you very very much as someone who is on online dating apps searching for that right man because we have seen lots of red flags in those two parts that i have shared already <laughs> now we are going to part three grab a glass of wine a glass of water some popcorns juice anything to keep you company as you enjoy this love story so dear friends where we stopped we stopped at when pamela met an origin guy on tinder and this norwegian guy was already in nairobi told her that they just landed today and they agreed to meet. Pamela went to meet this guy in Nairobi at the hotel where he was staying. The guy took Pamela to his room to show her around. After Pamela seeing that room, she was like, mm, the room really looks, you know, not all that good and I've got a very big apartment. I think this guy can just come at my apartment and stay there, give me company. Remember, this girl was very, very lonely. Yeah. So after telling the guy, the guy accepted, was like, sure. <laughs> But Pamela tells us she did all that without knowing that was committing a very terrible mistake. So after seeing the room, this guy packed all his things <laughs> and had to leave with Pamela to her apartment. After arriving at Pamela's apartment, this Norwegian guy was like, wow, you have got a very fancy apartment compared to my hotel room where I was staying. So which means Pamela was right. <laughs> this guy's hotel room wasn't all that good, was not in that good condition. And I can clearly say that it was one of those cheapest <laughs> hotels you can find in Nairobi. So Pamela would come him again and told him to feel free. He went, took a shower, and after having a shower, guys are from cinema. Cause that same same day, something very weird happened. <laughs> this Norwegian guy kissed Pamela. <laughs> Imagine that same same day you have invited a guy and is trying to kiss you. <laughs> but Pamela tells us did not open her mouth, you know, like to exchange the kiss or kiss him back. No, <laughs> did not do anything like that. And also Pamela tells us due to her past love relationship experience with Jeff being rejected, also, the relationship that she had with friends, at the end of the day, you know, they start acting weird and reject her. So they change on her with no reason. That one made her be like, no, I'm not going to have lots of expectations in this guy. And when he kissed her, was like, Pamela, please focus. Don't fall for this guy. Please, please. 
because you first need to know why this guy chose you among all Kenyan ladies on Tinder. So when you find out and you are sure of the real intentions of this guy, then you can fall in love with him. That is what she told herself. And another thing that Pamela tells us is that due to that she was single for so long, so switched her mind to other things, <laughs> not concentrating on what her body is telling her, <laughs> nothing like that. Also said, you know, with women, it's very, very easy to switch your mind and concentrate on other things, not sharing your goodies. <laughs> Yeah, so Pamela was like, I'm going to keep myself, keep my goodies and give them to the guy who will marry me. That day when he enjoys the goodies, <laughs> it will be like nobody ever touched me, you know? <laughs> I hope you guys understand. So it was like, that was her plan. And she succeeded for a very long period of time before this Norwegian guy came to her life so she let that kiss incident slide out and pretended like nothing had happened that evening they went to buy some food you know for dinner yeah so they ate and after eating decided to watch a movie together so they watched the movie till the end and it was late at night so the day had ended and decided to go sleep in different rooms so yes guys they kept on living together but this norwegian guy sometimes when could find pamela busy could steal a kiss from pamela <laughs> he kept on doing like that like giving her those romantic vibes like once romance but she could ignore him <laughs> So Pamela could take this guy out because this guy really liked to go out. I will keep on telling you more as we continue. Yeah, so he was someone who wanted to be out always. So Pamela took him to the places that she knew. Remember, Pamela is an introvert, doesn't know lots of places where to have fun in Nairobi. So the few that she knew took that Norwegian guy there. And sometimes they could use Google to find the places to go so it continued like that and pamela tells us at least for one month after one month this guy was like i want us to start dating <laughs> so pamela felt like okay i've stayed with this guy for one month and everything so far is good i think i should give him a chance so pamela gave him a chance and they started dating. When they started dating, remember, Pamela had said it's not going to share her goodies. <laughs> but tells us doesn't know how and what happened. <laughs> Found themselves enjoying the goodies. <laughs> Yeah, so they kept on enjoying the goodies, everything was fine, and then this Norwegian guy was like, wants to go to Mombasa to have more fun, and wanted Pamela to go with him. So Pamela tells us at that time was not working at the office, no, was just working at home, doing her online business. So everything was on her phone and on her computer. And when this guy told her they should go together to Mombasa, she was like, it's okay, as long as I'll keep on, you know, doing my business while there. So dear friends, when Pamela accepted to be in a relationship with this Norwegian guy, tells us at that time, fell in love with him. You know, was crazily in love with him. And the guy too was showing Pamela that is crazily in love with her. So yes, they planned their trip to Mombasa and eventually traveled to Mombasa, you know, to have fun. But after reaching in Mombasa, Pamela tells us that's when the real Afro cinema begins. <laughs> Yeah, because this Norwegian guy started showing Pamela his true colors. Tells us the guy showed her Pepe. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, because whenever they could go to a restaurant to eat, this Norwegian guy could order only one plate of food and they were supposed to share that food. <laughs> Whenever Pamela could want to, you know, add on the food, the guy could be like, no, you can't do that because you will make me look bad. <laughs> oh my God, I laughed a lot and I was like, yo, the way I'm a foodie, I don't know. <laughs> I think that could have made me leave that guy. <laughs> guys <laughs> what kind of love is that making me starve <laughs> with hunger <laughs> so it kept on like that that guy ordering only one plate of food and then they share that food <laughs> he pays for it <laughs> days kept on going and then this guy started complaining over everything you know, in Africa, I'm going to talk about Tanzania because this is something I have seen <laughs> with my own two eyes. Okay, so when white guys visit Africa as tourists, remember they've got a different skin color <laughs> that we have. And back home, the mentality is different, you know, about white guys. <laughs> Most people think that all white guys are rich most people not all but the majority those who don't have enough exposure they always think that white guys are rich white guys are loaded all the time they've got lots of euros dollars pounds <laughs> I've seen this so many times, especially with the street kids. When tourists passes in the street, these white guys, the kid starts asking for money. You hear them say, Muzungu, give me dollar, give me one dollar. You know, this is so, so common in Tanzania. So this too happened in Mombasa while Pamela was with that Norwegian guy. The guy could be asked for dollars. <laughs> on the streets by street kids and even adults <laughs> so this guy could complain a lot about that he could take all that back to pamela him being asked money in the streets by the kids can you imagine guys also pamela tells us because it was very very sunny in mombasa she got a lot of sunburn and was full of stress due to that the guy is complaining all the time so this guy kept on making comments like kenya is poor they don't have anything to show to the world that is supporting kenya apart from agriculture and loans imagine guys imagine you know what guys sometimes i wonder some of these white guys they know themselves that they don't like Africa, they don't love Africa, but find themselves in Africa. Why go to Africa if you don't love Africa? What are you doing in our continent? <laughs> what are you doing with an African lady? If you remember guys, the last video I shared with you before this, I told you that on online dating apps, if you are interested in dating a white guy, you will find lots of white guys of all kinds you'll find those who are racist but they are in the dating apps full of african ladies why is that they want to practice their racism on african ladies yes same as this norwegian guy i'm not a politician i don't want to go into politics it's true that most of white people consider africa as a poorest continent you know <laughs> yeah and it's true exists some places in africa where there is pure poverty this is the truth i'm an african you know from tanzania you all know that but why did we reach to that extent of being the poorest you know of being behind whereby we have got lots of resources 
to be rich we know that i don't want to go so deep into that we know who caused us to reach to that extent and i also told you that even here in europe exist poor people people who cannot afford two meals a day you know people who stay in the streets and they are here so there is poverty too even in europe in america <laughs> Canada only that it differs for example here if someone cannot afford two meals a day the government is going to offer the second meal exist places whereby the poor people go to eat for free you know <laughs> and you eat really really good compared to Africa whereby no one to help you have the second meal I told you we all know if you're an African we all know why there is poverty in africa so there is no need for a white guy go to africa and start looking down on us that means that guy is a racist and because you have got lots of beautiful places to visit in africa that is why these people go <laughs> They look down on us, they hate us, we are very stupid, but still they have to come to see the beautiful places that we have. So it's time to shine your eyes, guys. I don't want any lady watching me, watching my videos to date a guy who is a racist because it is the worst situation that you can find yourself in. So this Norwegian guy kept on talking bad about Kenya and this could hurt a lot Pamela because she is Kenyan, she loves Kenya. <laughs> like I told you one time I did a video, I think I was talking about, I think Kenyan ladies and I was like, oh my God, these people love their country so, so much. You can see them even if they are in the diaspora, but they will make you notice that they are from Kenya, the way they are proud of their country. So this guy talking shit about Kenya could break Pamela's heart, could just keep quiet. And the guy could be like, why are you quiet? Don't take this personal. <laughs> But Pamela could respond to him that stop being mean and I'm not responding to you. I'm not talking because I am listening to you. So she kept on feeling very tired, very stressed and lost lots of weight. She had 62 kgs before meeting this Norwegian guy and in a short period of being with him, loss of weight went to 55 kgs. And I can understand, first of all, when they went to Mombasa, like I told you, the guy used to buy only one plate of food. <laughs> Not only that, guys, some people, even me, when I'm very, very stressed, when I am under pressure, I tend to lose weight, yeah. So this lady was going through a lot, like emotional breakdown due to the emotional torture I was getting from the Norwegian guy, of course, had to lose lots of weight. So dear friends, we take a pause a bit. I want to advise you something. I think I talked about this when I shared Janet's story. If you remember, Janet and Eric, <laughs> an original guy too. Some of you have been like, it has been one of your favorite stories so far. <laughs> yeah. So we see that Pamela is under pressure pamela is not happy at all pamela is stressed so if you are on online dating app searching for love let it be you're searching for a white guy let it be you're searching for a black guy any guy of any color please please mental health is very very important peace of mind is so important so if you start chatting with a guy on online dating apps, everything goes on very, very well. You move to WhatsApp. Eventually you start dating and in the course of you guys dating, you start feeling anxious. You start feeling, you know, not happy, stressed.
stressed it's like it's not you anymore you don't feel the peacefulness that you had before because before yes you had your own stress of being lonely not having a man by your side but you have the man already you feel more stressed you feel like something is wrong so in most cases even with Janet, she exchanged that with butterflies. You know, when you are so much in love with a guy, you feel butterflies in the stomach <laughs> due to the love that you feel. <laughs> so she mistook the whole situation she was going through with Eric with the butterflies. <laughs> So with Pamela too, you guys that watched part two, I think towards the end, you had this lady telling you guys that was feeling very, very lonely, was asking herself lots of questions, like what will be of my life? I am 29, but no husband, no kids, nothing. What can I do, oh Lord? Am I going to stay single forever? But this lady, wasn't stressed like the way she is stressed with this Norwegian guy. <laughs> she wasn't feeling anxious all the time, nothing like that. So never mistook being in a toxic relationship with butterflies in the stomach. Please, please, if you date a guy, you should feel happy. That guy should give you reasons to smile every single day. Yes, misunderstandings can happen, but a guy who truly loves you will never put you under pressure, will never put you in a situation whereby you feel stressed all the time or feel anxious, okay? And I insist, guys, on this Peace of mind is very, very important. Don't think of people have been rejecting you, so you should just stay with this guy just because he is giving you a little bit of attention. No, you should be fully happy because if eventually you're going to marry that guy, you are going to live together forever. So do you want a life whereby you are stressed all the time? Do you want a life whereby all the time you feel anxious? hell no so let us continue with pamela's story so pamela staying with this guy in mombasa discovered lots of things that she had not seen while they were together in nairobi the guy started drinking he could drink to an extent he couldn't stop and his money was so so important to him <laughs> I think among the red flags, I've never insisted on this, but I'm seeing that it is something that is repeating itself in the cases that I get every single day. Ladies that have gone through toxic relationships, toxic marriages. So you are dating a guy and then you get a chance to meet, let it be in your country or in his country. If that guy drinks a lot, he drinks to an extent, he is on himself without even knowing, girl, run. Even if that guy is spoiling you a lot, even if he's giving you a thousand and thousands of euros or dollars or pounds, never ever accept such kind of a relationship that guy needs help and you are not the right person to stop him from drinking because i know some of you will be like no because he loves me this guy is gonna change he will stop drinking but if drinking is his problem dear sister mark my words he will not stop and if he came to africa and he is drinking like that in front of you what gives you the confidence that that guy will stop drinking. <laughs> he's meeting you for the first time and he's drinking like that. Or he invited you to his country and he's drinking like that in front of you and you think he's gonna change. He is not going to change. And some of these guys, most of them, <laughs> that they have got a drinking problem, they can be so sweet, they can be so loving. The guy that you always wanted, you know, to marry. <laughs> When they are sober, girl, when he is drunk, he changes completely. And a guy who is drunk, <laughs> most of them tend to be very, very aggressive, first of all. So if you ignore this and get married, be ready to be raped, you know, some days when he is drunk. 
and in the next morning he will pretend like nothing ever happened he won't even say i am sorry or if he is too too aggressive can do the worst leaving alone that if you go ahead get married then have kids with a guy who drinks a lot to an extent he can't stop himself you are going to be torturing your kids you are going to make your kids live in a toxic family because imagine a guy getting drunk you know beating you up or abusing you telling you the worst worst words in front of your kids that is a very very bad situation that i can't even wish for my worst enemy <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enemies guys but I don't want this to happen to anyone especially if you are always here watching my videos so this Norwegian guy could drink very very much that is number one number two his money was very very important to an extent that never ever spent even a coin on Pamela and sadly, this lady tells us there is no guy that ever bought her anything or maybe like spoiling her. Even with Jeff, Jeff never even took her out. Like, let's go to a restaurant and, you know, have that romantic dinner. It has never, ever happened. So even this Norwegian guy never bought her even a single flower can you imagine guys and still this guy could enjoy her goodies <laughs> pamela tells us uh, this could hurt her very very much <laughs> But on the other side could be like, anyways, I don't want to show like I'm so materialistic and all that because I am not materialistic. But let's be honest, <laughs> who hates flowers? If you're a lady watching this, write in the comment section below. <laughs> Do you hate flowers? Do you hate gifts? <laughs> Will you feel bad if your man spoils you? Will you feel bad if your man takes you out, you know, on a romantic dinner date for me no actually i really love it when my man spoils me when my man buys me flowers you know not every day like let's not pretend wanting you know those fancy fancy stuffs every single day because the reality of life is not like that but why should i pretend why should I keep on accepting dating a guy, giving my goodies to him, whereby <laughs> he is not spending a coin on me? There is a video I did and I told you guys that one of the red flags that you can see in a guy that is not interested in you is if the guy does not want to spend even a coin on you. That clearly shows that he is not interested in you get it in your mind dear beautiful ladies and if you're a guy watching this video now you are single and maybe you are searching for a serious relationship get this into your mind <laughs> being in a relationship with a lady is costly yes <laughs> I'm not saying that you're going to be giving her money all the time or spoiling her all the time. No, but you should be ready to take this beautiful lady on a dinner date once in a while. You should once in a while buy flowers for her, buy some gifts. If you are living in different continents, expect to spend. You have to pay for your ticket. Go visit her in her country. <laughs> pay for the hotel while you are there. Pay all the expenses. Yes, she can help a bit, but a very big amount of money will come from your pockets. This is the truth. If you are to invite her in your country, be ready to pay for her ticket. Be ready to pay for all the expenses of her trip. That is why I told you guys, you need to be financially stable. You need to have a stable job. And serious men, guys, they know this. If you didn't know, now I am telling you. Because some of you have never been in interracial relationships. You don't even know how things go. But please, dear beautiful ladies, let us stop being pretenders. Because if a guy spoils me, if a guy takes me out, you know, for a dinner date, it makes me happy. It is how I expect 
my relationship to go with the guy that I'm dating and then he's not doing so, then that means it's not what I want. So I shouldn't pretend that it's okay. I don't want to look like I'm so desperate. No. <laughs> This guy came to meet you, you met in real life. At least you should see his efforts when it comes to, you know, taking out his money out of his pocket <laughs> and spend on you. Let these guys treat us the way we expect to be treated in a relationship. Yeah, let these guys that we date be really what we always wanted to have in a man if it's not like that no don't stick to that guy please please in the name of not seen as a gold digger because i don't see anything like gold digging this lady invited the guy to her house the house that she is paying bills for <laughs> <laughs> because all this time this Norwegian guy was staying at pamela's house never paid any of her bills so you tell me who is a gold digger between pamela and the norwegian guy <laughs> and who is acting poor <laughs> you're saying africans are stupid kenya is poor so who is acting poor now <laughs> So guys, they stayed two weeks in Mombasa and then returned back to Nairobi. Returning to Nairobi, the situation continued to get worse because this guy started telling Pamela she shouldn't touch her phone, wanted full attention. <laughs> when she talked to her sister, her sister was like, si mfukuze. <laughs> like, chase the guy away. <laughs> And even the mother was like, be careful, be very, very careful. But the father was like, you can just keep him. Who knows what will happen? Because the father didn't know like the whole truth of what was going on <laughs> behind the closed doors. And when Pamela was telling this story, I laughed a lot <laughs> about chasing the guy away. Because <laughs> I told her same, same thing. Si unge mfukuza. <laughs> And added, ingekuwa ni mimi, ninge mfukuza. Like, if it was me, I could have chased him away. <laughs> I can't entertain all that nonsense. <laughs> like, I'm paying all my bills, you're taking the goodies, you want all my attention, and you don't want me to touch the phone. You know my phone and my laptop is everything to me, because that is where I do my business, where I get the money to pay all the bills, and you're telling me not to touch my phone boy what do you want from me <laughs> pack your things and go <laughs> i don't want to ever see you but this lady has got a soft character kind-hearted kept on enduring kept on convincing herself that maybe he's gonna change let me keep on observing no guys if you're here watching this let us have a stopping point where you put a full stop like i can't keep on with a situation like this so that you save yourself from wasting time with losers so they kept on having fights every single day pamela tells us something very small the guy could make it very very big give us an example that sometimes could be in a different room and then call him by his name and you know us <laughs> african people when you call someone like for example pamela so pamela could call the guy by his name and this guy could be like you're shouting on me why are you shouting on me and it could be a fight so it was fight 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 a small thing they are fighting a small thing the guy is complaining a small thing the guy is looking down on Pamela but surprisingly when they could go out for a walk this guy <laughs> could hold Pamela's hand everywhere like they're so crazily in love with each other to an extent people could shout you know cheer up and be like where my pansy <laughs> but going back home it is a totally different situation when they enter inside the house the guy is no more loving the guy is no more caring but complaining and fighting 
I think you ever had a situation like this and I told you guys when you notice that in a guy that you are dating it's a red flag it's a sign of a toxic man because toxic guys they always want to look good they always want to look like oh my god they're so much in love with you they treat you so good they are the best thing ever to happen to you so that if he mistreats you does bad bad things to you and then the relationship ends they maintain the clear image to the society people will say that it's you that has got problems it's your fault for that relationship to end because that guy was super in love with you we could see that when you could even go out you guys were holding each other's hands you know <laughs> So it's you who made that white guy run away from you. <laughs> That's how toxic guys are. So if you are in a relationship and you have seen that or you haven't seen that, watch it out. It's a red flag. So dear friends, Pamela suffered. Remember, she's the one that brought the guy in her house. <laughs> But the guy is torturing her and couldn't chase him away. For something with toxic guys, it's not that a toxic guy all the time will be treating you bad. No, this guy will make sure he gives you mixed feelings. Because sometimes he will show you that he loves you so much, he will treat you so good. Oh my God, the best, best man that you can ever imagine to have. But sometimes this guy will treat you bad, like really, really bad. The guy will torture you. The guy will make sure you hate yourself because Pamela reached to an extent, couldn't take a good care of herself anymore. Just left herself, you know, just like that compared to when she was single. So couldn't chase this guy away because when she wants to chase him, remembers the good side of the guy. <laughs> and keeps on holding on to him so it kept on like that and then happened that there was marathon in another city and this guy wanted to go and attend that marathon so he had to rent an air bnb in that city a different city not nairobi because pamela lives in nairobi so this norwegian guy wanted pamela to go with him but pamela still had mixed you know feelings whether she should go leave her apartment and go stay with him or should remain in Nairobi so told the guy you go and then I will follow you after so the guy left yes and went to that city to attend the marathon then Pamela remained alone you know thinking and after some time decided that we'll go and join the Norwegian guy so guys Pamela decided to give him a call that evening give him the good news that have decided to go join him so as they were talking Pamela had lots of movements like someone is cleaning the house someone is washing the dishes Pamela had to ask the guy are you the one doing all those movements around the house I'm hearing someone washing the dishes <laughs> and the guy was like yes it's me so Pamela told him now I am ready I want to come join you so book a ticket for me <laughs> so that I can come guess the response guys that Norwegian guy told Pamela that I don't want you here oh my god it was a shock to Pamela when Pamela asked why the guy was like it's over between us because we are not a match I don't want a girlfriend who wants to stay at home you always want to stay at home I want someone who we will be out always for you you're always at home it's clear we are not a match and then in the background Pamela heard someone a lady's voice sneezing <laughs> ah. <laughs> really these white guys have shown us pepe <laughs> 
And guys, Pamela tells us they had plans. This guy wanted also to go to Tanzania. Pamela told her cousin to take the guy Swahili because <laughs> he was going to Tanzania. But all of a sudden, this guy does not want Pamela anymore. So for me, all I can say about this Norwegian guy, he is one of those guys that you can find on online dating apps who wants to visit Africa on a cheaper cost. This guy was in a very cheapest hotel, but I'm very, very sure he was hunting for the victim, someone to help him with the expenses in Kenya while touring around. This is the truth. Because if this guy was in Kenya, was so good financially, I'm so sure, was not going to accept to move in with Pamela on the first day. And let's imagine, yes, he accepted to stay with Pamela. This guy was going to help Pamela with the bills, but he never did. Never. Imagine could buy one plate of food in Mombasa, <laughs> meaning never wanted to spend a lot on food like feeding Pamela. So he was just a user. These kind of people, guys, still exist on online dating apps. Yes, because <laughs> the guy actually was still on Tinder and going to Tanzania, I'm so sure he is still looking, you know, for the next victim. One time I posted his photo on Instagram stories, but no one came up to tell me they know him. So <laughs> I was planning to show his face here, but again, Pamela was like, no, I think let's hide his face. But if someone wants to see this guy, like his real face, so that you can be careful when you are on online dating apps, when you come across him, come to me. I'm going to share with you his photo because this Norwegian guy is keeping on with his tour in Africa. And I don't want, I don't wish you to be his next victim. Lastly, that I want to say on this and then I end this video, please, please, dear beautiful ladies, the video I posted before this story, I told you when a white guy comes and you see that he is more interested in touring Africa, he is more interested in seeing new places, but not about your relationship, end it with him. Cause that guy, I'm very sure he was on online dating apps, searching for an escort, someone to give him company while touring around and he enjoys the goodies at a lower cost. It makes me sad to say this, but it's the truth. Why should we hide? So yes, guys, let us be very, very careful while using these dating apps. When you find a guy, he should be a right guy, a quality one. <laughs> yes, we have reached to an end of our today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. I really appreciate much, much, much. May God bless you. Please, please, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Comment below what you think about this video. Please, please, if you have not watched my other videos too, go watch those videos. You're going to learn a lot, a lot, and you will enjoy so, so much. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, join the family. Thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.